let us start with our html part control b close the left panel i'm just going to adjust my screen so that we can see the result side by side and this file right click on this open with live server or below this you will be having go live option i'm just going to click on that and this entire project will be opened live so whatever changes i do here immediately that will be reflected in this project if you notice here basically i am having three containers first is navbar second is our header and third is our model first we will work with our navbar so inside this navbar i am having this logo and below this i am having this links so for this logo what i have done i have created one images folder inside this images folder i am having this file logo.png this images folder is present inside our main folder that is model folder below this body i will be creating image tag inside this src i will write images folder inside which i have given the image name as logo.png and inside this alt i will just write here cuisine logo save this i will come now you can see the logo is displayed below this logo i am having all these links and this entire link is wrapped inside the list so in this project we are going to use unordered list so i will be using ul inside this i am writing li into 5 totally 5 list and inside this li i want anchor tags so i am going to write like this okay this is a simple trick i want 5 lis inside each li i want one anchor tag hit enter now you can see the result will be displayed inside each href i am going to give hash so whenever i click on that by default i will be redirected to top of the page i am going to write hash for multiple selections i am just using alt key and i am just clicking wherever i want now inside this anchor tag first i will be writing home second i am going to write recipes whatever content you want and based on your project you can give what data you need in this navbar and here i am going to give brings then we have travels and finally we have hospitality i will come to my project now i will save this you can see list is displayed inside which i am having anchor tag now in url if you notice i am having index.html as soon as i click on this home i will be having this hash whatever i gave inside this href that will be displayed now suppose if you are working in very large website and bottom if you have given this hash and when you click on that link by default you will be redirected to top of the page i will remove this now we are inside index.html that's it inside this navbar we are having only two things we have this logo and we have this link coming to semantic part that we are going to see once we are done with creating the structure now we will be working with our second part that is our header inside header we are having four things we have this button we have one heading we have paragraph and again we have this sign up button below this ul let me just write here second section and here i will be writing first section
first what i want i want button currently in this project if you notice i am having four buttons this is my first button second button third button and this cross symbol is the fourth button so what i will do for this button i am going to give the class as menu bar so for each and every item if you want to give stylings you can use the classes instead of ids as well as i am going to give id because in javascript we are going to select this id and when i click on this the nav bar will be opened so i will give the id as toggle accordingly whatever names you want you can give i will save this i do not have any content so this button will be displayed here but without any content now inside button i do not want any content i will open this and here i am just going to search for menu i will click on this icon click on this code will be copied i am just going to paste it here and for this icon i am just going to give the class as menu icon let me come here i will save this now you can see the menu icon is displayed so this is very simple whatever structure you are seeing accordingly you just have to write the code and when you start doing the styling part accordingly you can structure them and you can wrap inside the containers now below this button i am going to create h1 and for this i will give the class name as heading so in our entire project whenever you are creating project there should be one h1 heading which will be representing your project it is not a basic rule but according to semantics there should be one h1 heading representing your entire project inside this i'm just going to give the heading the cuisine time i will come to my project save this heading will be displayed below this heading i'm going to give paragraph and for this paragraph i will give the class name as cuisine description inside this i'm going to copy this entire content and here i am just going to paste save this now i am having this paragraph below this paragraph i am having this button i will create button for this we have given different stylings we have given the border radius and everything so for this i am going to give the different class let me just write here sign up button as well as i am going to give the id i will write here hash when i click on this sign up button the model will be opened so i will give the id name as open whatever class name whatever id you want you can give but accordingly when i do the stylings and when i write javascript code accordingly you have to change the names inside this i will write sign up let me come here i will save this now below this i am having this sign up button now this is our second section finally we are having our third section that is this model below this button i am going to write one comment i will just write third section now this entire thing you can see this entire form i'm just going to wrap inside diff and for this i will give model open inside this i'm just going to display this button i will write a button and for this i'm going to give the class as close btn as well as i'm going to give the id as close because when i click on this cross symbol the model will be closed so we have to write javascript code so that is the reason i am giving id it is not like using ids only we have to select using class names also we can select but this is only one item 
so we are going to give id inside this again i will come to this website here i am going to write close click on this copy the icon and inside this button i am going to paste i will save this now you can see the cross symbol is also displayed now for this i am just going to give the class class name as close icon then we are having this sign up below this button i am going to create one diff and for this diff i will give model header don't worry why i am changing the position first i am having cross then i am having sign up why because we are going to use position property and we are going to display that cross symbol so wherever you want you can display this button so first i have just displayed that button now this will be the main heading so i'm just going to create one diff inside this diff i will just write here h3 and i will give the class name as model heading inside this i'm just going to write sign up i will come here i'm just going to click on save you can see sign up will be displayed below this we are having this entire content where we have one paragraph and entire form is displayed let me just bring this down and below this header below this model header i am going to create another div and for this i am going to give the class as model content inside this first i am going to write paragraph for this i will give the class name as model tag inside this let me copy this one and here i am going to paste i will save come to my project now you can see that paragraph is displayed below this paragraph we are going to create the form for form we are having the form element and for this form i will give the class as model form action we are not going to write any back end code so i am going to remove action and also you do not have to worry what that attribute is inside this what i will be doing i am just going to group this this is the label this is our input field so i'm just going to wrap inside one container and we are going to use div so i'm just going to write div inside this div first i will be writing label and for this label i'm going to give the class as form label and here inside this i'm going to give name below this label we are going to create input field type of text for this i am going to give placeholder enter your name whatever content you want to write you can placeholder is nothing but this one whatever is displayed inside this input field then i am going to give class class i will just write here form input and also i am going to give auto complete because whenever we click on any input field our personal data like email id mobile number will be displayed but i do not want to show that data to anyone so i am just going to write auto complete to be off i will save this now you can see here this is created name and this input field is created now if you see here when i click on this input field this input field is highlighted but when i click on this name the input field is not highlighted but if i come to my project now you can see when i click on this input field it is highlighted and also when i click on this email name then also this will be highlighted you can see 
again when i click on this that will be highlighted when i click on this name input field will be highlighted so how we are going to do that inside this fold we are going to give one value name and inside this attribute we will give id and whatever value we have given for this the same value we are going to pass inside this id now i'll come to my project now when i click on this name you can see then also that input field will be highlighted okay this is very important you have to give the same value then only that is going to work so this is our first input field second we have email copy this entire diff paste it here i will select multiple times name here and here and i'm just going to change email and in place of this i will just write email save this we have email and we have this placeholder copy paste now i want mobile i'm just going to select this one using alt key i will just write mobile i will change it to capital m and type i am just going to give number then next i am going to paste select this one select all these things and here i am just going to write password capital p save now we are having four fields finally last field is for confirm password select select i'm just going to write c password here in place of c password type will always be password and here i'm just going to write confirm password and in place of this enter your password i'm just going to write confirm password copy same thing and inside this i'm just going to paste save this one now totally i am having five fields name email mobile password and confirm password and at the end finally we have one more button that is submit button so whenever we are using form inside form like how we are using this type for password we have this for email we have this email so in the same way for button we have type is equal to submit i will show you i will write input type is equal to submit i will save this now you can see here i am having this similar input field but i do not want that let me just remove this space save this now you can see button is displayed we are just using type is equal to submit you can see we are having the sign up button similar way we have this submit button and for this i am just going to give the class i will just write here submit btn save this nothing will be reflected here because we have not added any stylings so now you will be thinking we are done with our html part but it's not we are still left with semantic elements now if i come here this is as i mentioned this is our entire nav bar so in html5 we have semantic element that is nav so this entire thing i'm just going to write nav n a v and for this id i'm just going to give as nav bar i will remove this closing tag and below this url i'm just going to close this one so whenever we are creating website if you are creating any menu bar or if you want to display the nav bar then we have the nav element we can use that nav element it is not going to add any purpose but for semantic purpose and for search engine purpose we have to add this tags now if i save this one nothing will be changed but 
as these are semantic elements as soon as we see this nav element we can tell this is the navigation and this entire image you can see we are having this image usually whenever we create logo we will be wrapping inside one container so i will be writing diff this diff also is not going to add any meaning i am just going to wrap inside this diff and for this i will give the class as logo container i will remove this and below this i am just going to close and also for this image i will be adding the class i will just write logo okay nothing will be changed our entire html structure will be same but we are just adding some elements so that it will be easy to give designs as well as for search engines this semantic elements will be giving more meaning now as i mentioned this is our header inside this we have this four things so this entire second section i'm just going to wrap inside header i will just remove this closing and at the end i'm just going to paste now as soon as i save you can see nothing will be changed only thing is we have just added this semantic element now if you closely notice this project as soon as i click on this sign up you can see behind this model entire thing is faded like i am having one overlay effect so for that overlay effect we are going to create one div this is my entire model this is my entire model which is opened but behind that what effect we are having for that we are just going to create another div here i will write div and for this div i will give the class name as model container as well as i am going to give the id as model i will remove this and at the end i am just going to close that again save this again i will show you you can see as soon as i click on this behind this whatever effect it is covering our entire screen so for that we are creating another div and using stylings we will be giving this overlay effect again i am going to come save this nothing will be changed but using stylings we can create all that structure we are done with our html part we have created three sections nav part header and model and for this model you can wrap inside main tag as well instead of this diff you can give main because that is the main thing which will be displayed so instead of diff you can give main element as well i will come and main here also it is changed save this and now finally we are done with our html next let's work with giving stylings to our project